The suspect in the officer-involved shooting in White County has died. Investigators say 26-year-old Colt Lee Whitson sped off from authorities when they tried to pull him over on an outstanding warrant in Putnam County. During the pursuit in Sparta, Whitson fired shots at deputies. One of the officers got out of the car and Whitson pointed a gun at him. That deputy then shot the suspect twice. We'll have more on this deadly shooting later today on air and online. A man's body has been recovered from Percy Priest Lake. Officials with the Office of Emergency Management tell us the man was on a dock around 8 o'clock last night at Four Corners Marina when he somehow fell into the water. He died before help could arrive. This was the second time a man has gone missing on Percy Priest Lake in the past two weeks. Crews have yet to recover the body of 36-year-old Jeremy Cross, who went missing while canoeing in early April. A juror in the Vanderbilt rape case retrial is breaking his silence. Bobby Lewis tells us 11 of the 12 jurors had to fight to avoid a hung jury. In a statement sent to us, Lewis says, quote, one juror refused to see the evidence that was so obvious to everyone else, so the other 11 had to compromise on four lesser charges in the case in order to find Corey Beatty guilty. He went on to say, perhaps our justice system is broken since it only takes one person to cause a man to not get punished as he deserves. I pray that these horrible men are all locked up for the maximum time possible and they can't do this to anyone else. In my eyes, they are monsters." End quote. Corey Beatty is scheduled to be sentenced next month. He faces up to 25 years in prison. The Tennessee Titans started the day with some big time moves. The team has agreed to trade the top overall pick in this month's NFL draft to the Los Angeles Rams. That means Tennessee swaps the number one pick to the Rams along with its picks in the fourth and sixth round. The Rams will now give the Titans their first round pick at number 15 along with two second round selections. Our sports team will break it all down for you later today at 4, 5 and 6.